Okay, appearance to the abyss. Wait, oops. So when I draw a card, oops, that was close. G he G he G he he G G G G G. <laughs> so stupid. I'm officially losing my mind. I lost my mind a long time ago, being stuck indoors all the time. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Slayer's Den. It's Slay Anything. Thank you guys again so much for joining me. Today we are playing a dastardly Esper deck called in standard Magic the Gathering Arena. Now this deck is especially cool to me because it has two ways to really end the game. You have one, Teferi's Tutelage, which if you're unfamiliar with, is an enchantment that says when Teferi's Tutelage enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. And also whenever you draw a card, target opponent mills two cards. So basically every time you draw a card, you're milling two cards and these things stack. So potentially you could get four of these out and mill your opponent for eight cards every time you draw a single card. Now to help supplement that, you do have some card draw spells like Thirst for Meaning, you have Teferi, Finale of Revelations, pretty cool here. Teferi, Master of Time can also help you draw cards, so you've got a lot of ways to really mill the opponent down with Teferi's Tutelage. Now the other win con is of course Obnixilis, the Hate Twisted, which says whenever an opponent draws a card, Obnixilis, the Hate Twisted, deals one damage to that player. So the ultimate combo in this deck is getting Peer into the Abyss, and if you're unfamiliar with this card, it's a new M21 card that says target player draws cards equal to half the number of cards in their library and loses half their life and then you round up each time. So basically you would play Peer into the Abyss depending on what you had out to kill the opponent. If it's Teferi's Tutelage, you cast it on yourself, you draw half your library, and then basically you mill your opponent out from there. And if you have an Obnixilis out, then you basically just get them to half their life total and then you deal one damage to them for each card they draw, which is usually a significant amount by the time you cast Peer into the Abyss. Overall, this deck is crazy sick. I'm super excited to play it and I hope you guys guys enjoy it and if you do please remember to destroy the like and subscribe buttons below not only is it a great way for you to support my channel which i truly truly appreciate thank you guys so much um, but it's also a great way for you to stay up to date with my current and future content and best of all it's completely free so without further ado let's play some magic the gathering chubby kobold Chubby Kobold's the name. All right, so they've got a Kahira companion. Very cool. All right, uh, yeah, we'll go and hold on to this one because we do have the tutelage in hand. Uh, uh, some Demir, maybe? Maybe Esper? Seeing as they have Kahira, it's probably Esper. Uh, we're going to play the Halifound. Tapped. Pass the turn. Okay. Thought Erasure, you say? Okay. Let's go and play a Castle Lockdwain, and I'll just pass the turn. Okay, opponent plays another Temple of Deceit to scry. Scry's to the bottom. And uh, we too shall play our Temple of Deceit. And we'll go and keep this one, because why not? Opponent plays an Island Grim Tutor. Let's see what they look for. Perhaps an Underworld Dreams? Go and play this, and we'll just go next. End the turn. Teferi's tutelage, okay. Sure, 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 sure. So they're going on the same kind of, uh, they have kind of the same game plan as us. Let's go and crack this for a white mana, I suppose. And why not, let's just go and destroy that. Yes, please. Let's get that counter spell out of their hand. Sweet. Okay, let's play this. We'll grab a. We'll grab a swamp. And let's see. <sighs> okay, play off Nuxilis. Don't get it twisted. Okay, I'm gonna play a swamp. And uh, we don't have much going on here, so I think we're just gonna go next. And yeah, let's end the turn. So until they can find the removal for Obnixilis, it's gonna be quite the pain. But I do have Eliminate for the Kahira, so not too big of an issue right now. Eventually, yes. Now I'm debating on whether or not I want to Castle Lockthwain. I may if I don't end up drawing the cards that I need, although we're one mana away from 
doing what we need to do. So I'll just go and end the turn here. We'll slowly uh, ping the opponent's life total. Opponent Narsets. Uh, let's go and crack this. Grab a swamp, I guess. Resolve. Let's see what the opponent finds off the top. Okay, sweet. So, wonder if they're holding up double counter spells here. Uh, what to do, what to do. So we're gonna eliminate this first. Draw the first counter spell. Okay, that's sweet. And I think we could go like this. Just draw. Nice, nice, nice. Um, let's go ahead and Elspeth conquers death, the tutelage. That way we can draw a counter spell. Sweet. Okay, so that was the counter spell that they were probably looking for. So they have Drown in the Locks, I see. I'm assuming they probably have some more counter spells in hand, though. Let's go and play Teferi. I want to see if they have more counter spells. If they have... Okay, there's Drown in the Lock. So it's good I didn't play the Pier yet. Okay. Let's see what they find off the top. Let's hope it's nothing too powerful. Ah, uh, it's a fairy. Sweet, they tap out. GG. Let's fucking go! Suffer the, Suffer the dreams of the dam. Shall I give them the GG? Is the question. <laughs> oh, they don't like that. They don't like that one bit. GG. Let's fucking go, chubby kobold. <laughs> yes. Karn on the kobold. Cob 013. Ah, Karn on the cob 013. I get you. Uh, very wise. Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and... Um, not a huge fan of this hand. I basically can't cast anything until I get the second white, but there's a lot of good removal in here, and three lands is hard to give up. We'll go and hold on to it. Play a Temple of Deceit, and drop the Shatter the Sky to the bottom. Let's just hope we draw into our second white mana, and that will be a pretty good start. Um, let's play a Castle Locked Wayne and just pass the turn. Get Pun plays Johnny's Pride Mate. Sure, 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 sure. We're going to play the Watery Grave Tapped. And what we need is two white mana sources. What I should have probably played was... Um, the planes. That way if I drew into a planes this turn, that would have been something significant, but woe is us. Let's go into Ashiok and let's go and mill the opponent. We got rid of some of their very saucy cards in here. So I need to draw an extinction event or a planes, basically. If I can do that, we'll be in decent shape. Um, if I draw just any untapped land, oh nice. Ashiok Dream Reaver just screwed him. That was sick. Okay, so opponent swings into Ashiok. They were not happy about that. Trigger warning incoming. Come on, white mana. Yikes. Ah, uh, fuck me. Alright, so next, uh, we're just gonna end the turn. And I'm thinking, this is so unfortunate, but if I don't draw that white mana next turn, then I literally don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. This is such a mana intensive uh, deck. Okay, sure. Opponent swings in. Eight. That's so gross. Alright, so I need an untapped land, please. Alright, uh, but that's about as close as I'm going to get, so we'll go and pay for that. And let's go and shatter this guy here. And uh, then I'll have to Obnixilis. I have the potential to gain 6 life with Heliod's Intervention. Uh, let's go and Elspeth Conquers Death, that bad boy. Play Watery Grave, tapped, and just pass the turn. They are on a pure Cat's deck, though. Okay, let's play the Island. And let's play the Obnixilis right here. And we're just gonna go next, end the turn. So we're not going to, um, we can play Peer into the Abyss next turn if the opponent doesn't have an answer for our Obnixilis. 
Okay, okay. So, Cub Warden? I see, I see. Opponent swings in to Obnixilis. They have a pump spell. Alright, well, it looks like GG. It looks and smells like GG. Let's go ahead and peer to the abyss. And let's go! GG. <laughs> Welcome to the Twisted Abyss. <laughs> Let's go, Karn on the Cob. Let's fucking go. Kaiser Soze. Good old Kaiser Soze. Uh, yeah, we'll go and keep this one. This is a uh, pretty strong hand, I'd say. Go and Fable Passage first turn. Grab that white mana, I guess. Jungle Hollow, turn one. Okay, we'll crack this. Grab a planes for our Tef. There's another planes, play an island, and just pass. Okay, opponent plays another jungle hollow. Sweet. Uh, we're gonna play an island, and let's go ahead and just actually tutelage this turn. And I'll go and discard a it's a fairy master of time. Let's discard an Elspeth Conqueror's death. Let's see what the opponent has. Just tons of lands, wow. And tons of like tap lands too. What the hell? What if this was just a deck full of lands somehow? Okay, okay, okay. So let's play the planes and let's go and play the Teferi Master of Time, sure. Gonna draw a card. And let's drop the other Teferi. Mill the opponent some. Pass to attackers. Okay, we'll take the two, looks like. Now wait just a minute. Now wait just a minute. Alright, opponents. What you got? Ari Fine Broker. Okay. Sweet. So what do they bring back? It's a permanent card from their graveyard to their hand. What is this? Garuk's Harbinger? Okay, sure. Go ahead and draw a card. Let's see what we can find. Uh the fifth land is nice, so we will drop a this one's a tough one. We'll go and drop the Narset, I think. Yeah, we'll drop the Narset, sure. Fill some more land. So they actually probably want to get stuff into their graveyard, which is kind of sad for us, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go and play a Elspeth Conquers Death. We'll do that on the Murderous Rider. And let's go ahead and draw a card, and we'll drop the um Drop the thirst for meaning, because the Ashiok is actually going to be really cool against this deck. I'm pretty hyped about that, because they're not going to enjoy it. I hope they waste some removal trying to get rid of Tef, though. Okay, pass. So we'll just let Tef take that three, I guess. I I knew that was coming. Elder Gargaroth. Gross. Don't draw. And I'll get rid of the eliminates because it doesn't look like they're looks like they're playing a lot of big expensive cards. Okay, so let's play this. I think we're gonna play the Ashiok Dream Render. This to the opponents. Get rid of their graveyard, and let's go and bump this up and see what we can find off the top. Um, we'll drop the Thirst for Meaning here. And let's see what the opponent has got going on. Probably not too happy about getting 20 of their graveyard cards exiled. <laughs> uh, but I will exile their Elder Gargaroth, most likely. Okay, so they get to create some stuff. Let's see what they do. Create a green 3-3? Three, three. Okay, that's fine. So they get a token. And I'm thinking I'm probably, let me see. This is getting swung in by Golgari Fine Broker. Um, let's go ahead and phase out the Gargaroth, I guess. And then we've got the Ashiok to kind of mill them for a little bit more. And then we've got a Teferi to actually, you know, um, Gargaroth here. The Teferi can bounce the Gargar, um, just like the token or something. I don't know, anything really. The opponent's at 25 cards already, so pretty saucy. All right, opponent's doing some tapping. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go and bring back a Tef. Do some Tef-tings. 
This isn't my first time being a hero. Let's go ahead and mill the opponent for some. Sure, they're not enjoying this too much. And uh, yeah, let's go and play the. Well, let's go and Tef first and see what we can find. Um, yeah, we could drop the Fable Passage, I guess. And we'll go and play the Teferi. Sure, 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 sure. We'll bounce the token or the Harbinger? Let's bounce the Harbinger. Play the Swamp and just go next. End the turn. So we just really need to draw seven cards, basically. Okay. Um, hmm. So let's go ahead and... I think what we do is we phase this out and we resolve. So that's gone. They're probably going to swing into Teferi here and then I get to eliminate. So should be okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, so we get an eliminate there. Sure, 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 sure. Now what? Okay, um, yeah, I guess we take that, but do we take that is the question. Uh, yeah, let's go and take that. Uh, I guess so. I guess we take that. Okay, so Teferi's gone. Worse. Okay, so Har Garu's Harbinger, sure. Um, so first things first is we're going to get rid of the Harbinger. And... I think we just play this out tapped. Now here's the question. Can I draw five cards? Can I draw five cards? Okay, so they destroy Elspeth Conquer's death over the tutelage. Interesting. Take nine here. So I really need to draw into like peer into the abyss, basically, at this point. Or sweeper. Sweeper could be nice. So fairy is decent. I think. I'm feeling that. Okay, so let's go into Fairy. Oh, let's see. So we're going to go and bounce the Elder Garter off. So we don't want to take too much damage. We play the Island and we go next. And we end the turn. The opponent has to kill us pretty quickly. And they can, for sure. This one's a close one. This was a really close one because they have so few cards left. And they actually brought a card into play. So I literally only need to make them draw. Yeah, this should be GG. I'm only going to take eight here. Unless they have like a black burn spell or something. Okay. And put a th go ahead and draw a card. And that's it. GG. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that was sick. Sick, sick, sick. Let's go. Welcome to the Twisted Abyss. <laughs> so dumb. Oh my god. I am straight up stupid. Malevolence. Ah, oh, shit. So this is a good hand in theory. The reason this could be a good hand is because if I get the second white mana, then I have Shatter the Sky. <sighs> it's hard to give up four lands, you know? Giving up four lands in a control deck is like, it's a big concession. We're going to keep it though. Um, that second white mana source is going to be especially helpful. Dang, we're going against a lot of Golgari decks. Like, what the hell? Um, let's go and play a... Play Castle Lockthwain. Piper of the Swarm Golgari. This is very strange. Okay, Cultivate. I mean, I'm liking what I'm seeing for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, Temple of Enlightenment. There we go. Elspeth Conquers Death. I feel like that's going to be useful. Golgari has such huge creatures. It looks like they may even be on some kind of ramp type deck with Cultivate. So maybe Ugin's coming up. Uh huh. Okay. Well, 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 let's go and play this planes, and that'll give me the opportunity to heal Yod's intervention if they play some kind of crazy, um, I don't know, enchantment or something like that. 
Okay, resolve. I love the flavor and of Piper of the Swarm. And just like the secondary ability of sacrificing three rats to gain control of a target creature. Like, that's your creature from then on. Okay, pass. And do I have anything else that I want to do here? Uh, no, my turn. So let's play an island. And yeah, I'm good with just like playing Narset here so that the opponent can't like draw more. Um, uh, hmm. Got those. Tef could be nice. Another Elspeth conquers death. Eliminate could be pretty sweet here. Let's grab Tef. And uh, yeah, we'll just end the turn. And the opponent will probably want to swing in on Tarset, uh, on Tarset, on Narset here with all three. Just cool. Opponent already has seven mana on the board. It's crazy. I'm just wondering what they're waiting to cast here, honestly. Plague Crafter. Okay. Welcome to Plague Crafters. Uh, yep, sure. Uh, let's discard a card. We're going to go and discard a... What do we want to discard? I guess we could discard the Heliod's Intervention. Doesn't look like that's going to be all that useful right now. Um... We will play the Castle Vantress and let's see. Let's just go and shatter here, why not? So I do need a Teferi's Tutelage. And uh yeah, let's play Tef, do some Teftings. Go and balance the Gravewalker. You spicy little bastard. And uh yeah, we're just gonna go next, end the turn. Okay. Guess I'm sacking the Teferi that I'm cool with losing, actually. So we're going to crack the Fable Passage for a Swamp. Voracious Hydra. Shirt, 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 shirt. I'll grab that. So grab the Swamp. Um, yeah, let's go and play Teferi here. Master of Time. Wow. See what we can discard here. Um, cool with discarding the thirst. Next, end the turn. Opponent, see what the opponent does here. Yes, we'll phase you out. Sure, why not? Um, draw a card. See if we can find anything we want. I'll uh, discard the eliminate. Play a temple of deceit. Uh, Shatter's nice. We're gonna keep that on top. And I think I'm just going to draw for a massive amount here. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just go in and finale for... Actually, I just want to finale for four here, I think. I know it sounds weird. And it was weird, but I just... I don't want to discard, like, everything that I have. Nice. Okay, perfect. And then, yeah, I'll just get rid of a land. Assassin's Trophy. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. I'll just come back yesterday. Uh, we'll get an island. Because why not? And I will drop a godless shrine. Drop the planes. No, we do the godless shrine. Okay, so we take the six here. Cool with me. Let's play a Teferi's Tutelage. Give me the opportunity to mill the opponent some. Uh, we'll discard the planes? Discard the planes. So they would need 6 plus 7. They need 13 lands, 4, 8, 9. Okay. There's a couple of things there. Not too bad for them. Um, and let's go ahead and... I guess we shatter here, right? Yeah, let's go and shatter. And crack this. Grab a swamp, I think. Play a second to fairies tutelage, and the next turn we can just peer into the abyss. Sweet. Discard that. So if they can't do 12 damage to us this turn, then we are just gravy. We are on the gravy train with biscuit wheels. Let me know in the comments if you know what movie I'm referencing when I say such weird and strange things. Okay, peer into the abyss. Wait. Oops. 
So when I draw a card, oops, that was close. G he G he G he he G G G G G. <laughs> so stupid. I am. I'm officially losing my mind. I lost my mind a long time ago being stuck indoors all the time. GG. Kind of awesome. I kind of suck, but um, also I'm kind of awesome. All right. Um, okay. So the reason to keep this because we're on the draw. Second reason, Temple of Deceit scries off any crap and hopefully into a third land. So we'll keep it. We're going to be greedy. We're going to be greedy. Fatal Passage. That's a land. Got to keep it. Got to keep it. And I think I will go for the island here. Kite sail freebooter. You son of a bitch. You sir are a son of a bitch. I think the tutelage or a Narset maybe? He's got a lot of options though. Kinda awesome has a lot of options here. I wonder if they're playing the mono black like kind of aggro deck. Okay, that's gone. For a bit. Uh, We're gonna play the fabled passage and we're just gonna go next end the turn. And we're gonna grab an island and then a Narset on the following turn, so I have a decent curve pass. Opponent swings in for one. Shirt, sure, shirt, sure, shirt, sure, shirt. Sure. Let's grab that island. There's an Arset. Love to draw into a land this turn. Oh, I can at least have the four lands needed. Uh, plains or a swamp. I think plains is looking like maybe what I would want more so, but you know, it is what it is. Teferi's tutelage. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just go and tutelage already. Let's start milling this bad boy. Because Mono Black doesn't really have answers for that. Uh, we are going to drop a Narset, I believe. Uh, although, yeah, we'll drop a Narset in there. Start milling. Oh, nice. Look at them. They got their own. So they're playing the same thing, kind of. They're playing the mono black version, which just uses um, Underworld Dreams and Parents of the Abyss. So good times. Just keep milling away. A milli, a milli, a milli. Nice. We'll grab this. Let's go for a planes, I guess. Opponent is not a fan of this. And let's go ahead and shatter here. Because we do have another Shatter. We have an Elspeth, we've got Narset, we've got Obnixilis. So creatures are kind of on the lower end of our uh, concerns as far as this deck is concerned. Okay, sweet. There goes some of his win cons. Uh, yeah, let's go play the second Teferi's Tutelage. Just start a milling, a milling. Uh, we're going to drop the... We'll drop the, the other Narset. Narset will end up kind of hurting us because she'll be placing lands back into the deck rather than on the field where we need them. Opponent has six. Do swing in for two. Sure, 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 sure. Let's see what else the opponent plays. They play another gray merchant, then I can just like shatter or extinction. So not a bad place to be. Murderous rider. Sweet. Okay, okay, okay. They're losing a lot of good cards here. So let's play the Castle Locked Wayne, and hey, this is odd, and this is odd. So odd it is. Let's see if the opponent likes this. How do you like these apples, my friend? So now they can peer to the abyss. Another Grey Merchant, okay. There's a cool Elspeth Conquers Death target for me. Okay, opponent is at 33 cards still, so not that close to where we need. But I will Elspeth Conquers Death the Grey Merchant. Let's see what we've got here. Grim Tutors. Three Underworld Dreams are gone. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and Elspeth Conquers Death the Grey Merchant. I'll let me bring back like a Narset, I guess. I love going against Mono Black a lot just because they don't have enchantment removal. So... I mean, with this deck uh, specifically, Mono Black sometimes is kind of a pain in the ass. Ooh, they're playing some Twisted Abyss too. You disgusting bastard. <laughs> Knowledge is not without All right, so we play the island, and I think we got to start being a little bit more strategic with our stuff. So let's go ahead and bounce the <clears throat> Elspeth Conquers Death. That way I can get rid of that. To think too 
I want to be able to Elspeth Conqueror's death. All right, so what am I thinking here? So I think we play the third Teferi's Tulage. That draws me a card. I take one. Thank you. So if they can peer to the Abyss me, though, then I am dead. That's seven, right? Peer to the Abyss. I think they have it. I'm sure they do. Oh, no, they don't have it. Underworld Dreams could still kill me, um, but I need to draw four cards. How do I draw four cards with this deck? Oh, I don't even need to draw four cards. Sweet. I literally just need to do absolutely anything with this deck. Okay, we're going to play a Teferi. And that's it. GG. Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh my god. This deck is a whole lot of fun. I love that there's multiple win conditions for it. Every time I look at the deck name, I keep thinking it says Twisted Arby's. And I'm like... Uh, pulley. Pulley, pulley. Alright, um, yeah, once again, you gotta keep it if you got the two lidges. I feel like that's a uh, kind of a good indicator of whether or not it's a good starting hand and if you've also got lands in uh, in your hand that you can cast them with so we'll keep it see what the opponent is bringing to the table okay so teamer possibly um let's go and play the fabled passage and the turn and uh i think we'll grab a island first and then a swamp second one plays a growth spiral and plays an island Let's go ahead and grab that island, I guess. The planes could be pretty helpful as well. Should we grab the planes? Let's go and grab the planes. Wow. My, all my fabled passages. Where have you been, fabled passages? Uh, we're going to play the Godless Shrine tapped. Makes it look like we're playing Orzov when really we're playing a shitty combo deck. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, so opponent plays Uro. Uh, they don't bring a land into play. Plain Island, and let's tutelage away. Start milling the opponent. Uh, we're going to drop the... Let's drop an island, I think. Yeah, we drop the island. Song of Creation. Okay, you bastard. So they're trying to tutelage us. You don't tutelage us. We tutelage you. You know tutelage us. They're trying to get the Song of Creation on the board. They needed some lands. Uh, luckily, we do have Elspeth Conquer's Death to help us get rid of that once that's in play. So if they run out of gas somehow... It's a good thing. Oh, nice. This Narset is going to piss them off, and I love it. Because you're not going to be able to draw shit. Mmm, Helion's Intervention helps me destroy their Song of Creation, but I think this is it for them. I smell concession. Does anyone else smell it? Huli is not going to be too happy about this. <laughs> and that's why I didn't get the Peer into the Abyss, because uh, I guess the opponent doesn't get to... Well, you know, I can still draw with Peer into the Abyss and still combo off with the Tutelage. Alright, there's the Tutelage. They don't get to draw. <laughs> Oh my god. I cannot imagine them loving their life right now. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and play this, and we'll grab a swamp, I think. Yeah, we'll grab the swamp. We'll play a second tutelage. Discard the land, sure. And we'll just go... Sure, we'll activate this. Eliminate. And the turn. You don't mill us, we mill you! How would you like to draw zero cards this turn, my friend? Oh my god, this is going to be so disgusting when I Obnixilis their Uro. And they can't draw any of the cards off of it. <laughs> oh my god, I could probably just eliminate it, honestly. Yeah, let's just do that. This cannot be fun for the opponent. <laughs> uh, I haven't smelled the delicious taste of concession yet, but we will just go and triple to Fairy's two lodge here. And drop that.
Yeah, we'll go next. And the turn. And I get milled for two. Sure. Sad times. Opponent can play another Uro. Shuro. See, so do they have burn spells in here? They could Mythos. Teferi. Interesting. Okay. We won't be able to draw, my friend. We can discard some stuff. <laughs> oh my god. I actually kind of feel bad. Genesis Ultimatum. Sure. Uh, yeah, my turn. And, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and thirst for meaning, I guess. <laughs> yes. You don't mill us, we mill you. GG. So stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. All right, folks, this looks like a great place to end the video. And oh my god, I had so much fun playing this deck. It was either win by Obnixilis, win by Teferi's Tutelage, or just win by the opponent conceding because they knew what was going to happen. But overall, yeah, this deck was super fun. I love how there was multiple ways to attack the opponent. It was either death by Teferi's Tutelage or Obnixilis, as I mentioned. And it was pretty effortless to get those things online once I ramped up to enough mana. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck vid as much as I enjoyed playing it and if you did please remember to destroy the like and subscribe buttons below it's not just a great way for you to support my channel which i truly truly appreciate it's also a great way for you to stay up to date with my current and future content and best of all it's completely free thank you guys again so much and i'll see you in the next one thank you guys so much for checking out the video if you enjoyed it please remember to smash that like button below and to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos make sure to hit that subscribe button as well thanks again have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers.